Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform photos into the retro look of the lineographic mechanical drawings that were created on the classic toy of the early 1960s, Etch-A-Sketch. This is an update of a tutorial I did many years ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. I provided a Photoshop template that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is in my video's description below or project files. It includes an image of the Etch-A-Sketch toy and the inside shape of the Etch-A-Sketch screen. Open a photo that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively and allow us to replace it with a different photo without having to redo most of the effects. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. We'll place our photo onto the Etch-A-Sketch template. Make sure your Move tool is active and drag the photo onto the tab of the template. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. We'll resize and position it in a moment, but before we do, open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or Command click the inside shape to make a selection of it. Open back the Layers panel and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the photo. Click the Chain Link icon to unlink the layer and the layer mask. This allows us to resize and reposition either of them independently of the other. Make the photo active and open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift if you're using a version earlier than CC 2019. Then drag it in or out. If you're using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. To reposition it, go inside the Transform's bounding box and drag the photo. Then press Enter or Return. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black and White. We want only our photo to be black and white, however, because Adjustment Layers affect all the layers below them in the Layers panel, We'll need to clip it or restrict it to affect just the photo. To do this, click the Clipping Mask icon or press alt Control g on Windows or option command g on a Mac. You can also go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. Make the photo active and go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mosaic. Make the cell size 4. Go back to Filter, Stylize, and Find Edges. Let's save some space in the Layers panel by collapsing the Smart Filters. Change the Blend Mode to Multiply, and reduce its opacity to 80%. Lastly, we'll adjust the levels to brighten the tones. Click the Adjustment Layer icon again and click Levels. I already know the amounts that work best for the shadows, midtones, and highlights. However, since every photo has its own tonal ranges, feel free to adjust them for your image. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.